Lattice, a low power and mid range FPGA company. Did they jump into the AIPC? How, right? I mean, last time I checked, it was like 45 tops or something or 11 that you needed to have to, to be in this market. Yeah, so I, I, I believe it was, was, was it Dell, Pat? One of the companies sort of, there was a soft sort of announcement, uh, but there's some definite powerful connectivity, connective tissue with Lattice uh, Sense AI and their low power FPGAs to be able to offer some value in this AIPC space. And this uh, past week, company um, talked about on a blog, it announced on its page, but it's bolstering AIPC innovation with FPGA edge accelerators. And what are they doing on these edge accelerators? Well, you know, there's a couple of things. I don't know if you've heard about this kind of sense AI, but one of the big problems with laptops is, you know, an always on, always connected PC means always available for hackers to get data. So uh, security. So one of the things FPGAs can do is uh, have really good understanding of an environment and do things like knowing that I have now stepped away from my machine. I was going to stay away for a while just to make you nervous and knowing that it needs to turn off the monitor and secure the machine so that someone can't visually hack or gain access to that machine. That's something an FPGA can do. Uh, another thing is, you know, when you're not on the task or using it, it can uh, create screen brightness in real time. Um, and so it knows you're not looking or you're looking at a different screen so it can turn down the screen, uh, giving more power efficiency. Um, and so, you know, these are just a couple of the examples, but, um, you know, the idea that an FPGA can also aggregate sensor data from a number of different sensors across a device and create greater efficiency and performance. Um, so it was a come down to Pat, it comes down to one, having some level of flexibility, you know, uh, ASICs are great, for instance, we talk about those a lot, but there is a benefit to having programmability. Um, and in the era of the AIPC, there's lots of these sort of security, connectivity, experiential AI that could benefit from Lattice's technology, Pat. And so um, Lattice has won some, some uh, designs and they seem to be setting themselves up well for this FPGA renaissance that's gonna come along with this high volume what did you call it, Pat? A super trend? What did you call it? Mega trend? Mega trend. You know what I call it? Hype cycle, mega cycle, super cycle. That was the word I was looking for. A super cycle of AI PCs that are coming. Um, and with Lattice, it, it seems to be a great opportunity. Now, this is a company that uh, sells to Dell, sells to Lenovo, works with LG, uh, I believe Google. So a number of different device makers already partner. I'm not saying they're all gonna be using this straight away, but it seems to me that Lattice is finding a strong way to get the FPGA tied into the AIPC experience. And by the way, bonus topic, 7.5 is back. I know, I know. So um, I call it situational awareness, which which is, the shoulder surfing, and, and it's not just are you there or not, because you could put a cheap sensor to do that. The question is, is there a human being uh, behind which can turn on certain functions uh, for security, can take, take you to the login screen, uh, it can um, uh, initiate some uh, novel screen uh, technologies that only allow you to see the content and anybody from the sides uh, cannot. Uh, it also can invoke energy saving techniques, which says, you know, you, you walk away, you go to the bathroom, your screen, uh, your screen dims. Uh, and there's a lot of ways you can do that. You can do that with an ASIC, you can do that with an FPGA, you can do that with a microcontroller. And FPGA is a nice balance because it's programmable if you, if you change your mind. And of course, it's also uh, time uh, to market, and then you, you know, you know, you put the software stack on there, the lower level, and then mirror metrics. Uh, you have a turnkey solution, and you rattled off the list of vendors uh, that uh, are currently supported. Uh, it's funny, Dell, Google, Lenovo, and LG. We're like, well, wait a second, uh, Google does PC. No, they do Chromebooks. Um, you're pretty much running the table, with the exception of. Uh, uh, of HP and you know Apple does their own thing and they would probably never buy something like this they'd probably uh, do it themselves but yeah 
kind of went under the radar during uh, during CES, but uh, Lenovo Latitudes uh, and detachable uh, AI PC. So I'm going to call this here. Uh, Lattice is in the AI PC game, and and while processor manufacturers are struggling a little bit uh, as we um, as the market has has dipped because three years ago during the P. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to be filtered. Uh, that demand went down. But I think, you know, I called it on stage at CES. Uh, the super cycle is going to begin. It's going to start in the middle of this year. And then for the next two years, it's gradually going to get larger uh, to where you could have 75, 75 to 80% of all notebooks, uh, AI PCs, and, and half of, uh, of desktops. So, PC market is going to cook uh, in in the future for sure, and let's add in the uh, the Windows 10 uh, support uh, that that goes away very soon, and those enterprises are going to have to move to Windows 11. And very rarely do they just do an OS upgrade; uh, they do a complete uh, system uh, purchase.